so we are back again with a surprise bonus stream. We talked about it. Wild Arms had a natural stopping point. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. There's kind of a... You can't really top that moment, so we had to end the session. So we might as well just do a little bit of RBR. I did see that it was actually really strong this week. So for people that haven't played it before, we should probably do a little bit of that. So we'll talk about the first quest that's in the RBR, which I believe is Sweep Up Operation 3. Uh, that quest is... Or excuse me, Mop Up Operation 3. I was getting confused. So this quest is really, really, really solid if all you want are Guild Chicks and Kennedines, since they're very high in number. So for example, Purple ID can get a lot of Vice Chances from this. Uh, blue ID can get a lot of Jaya chances. We'll be doing, uh, I think just purple ID, since I prefer purple into mines anyway, since that's my ranger. And then uh, we'll talk about the other quests as we get there. We'll let Chris join in on a couple. So currently it's with XP week. There's not a lot of XP in this quest. I think it's about 4,800 total. On the, the wiki site itself, they do actually have a map for this quest. So there's a little bit of backtracking, which is unfortunate. I'll try to keep up that little chart as we go. But there's not like a whole lot of dangerous enemies here, so it's not bad for just playing casually. But yeah, it's pretty much the Jaya slash Vice run. Both of them are about even and they're and the things you can acquire there, and it's all good. Ooh, Dango with the blue ID force, interesting. So I'll be switching over, potentially. I think if Dango brings a force into episode two, I guess it's up to Dango what he wants to do. The one after that is a really good quest for box run, so no matter what, I'm gonna swap the character for a joke box run to show people that have not seen the box run before. And then we'll actually try to clear the level, which will take a while. But I'd probably prefer to bring something more damaging there with Hell. So we'll give everybody a couple minutes to join us. You'll join in a bit, gonna get food first. No worries, Murphy. We'll catch you on the box run, I think. But I figure if Chris wants to hop in, might as well get some vice chances. We'll double check these. Switch back to Humar for Eric Purple 3. Um, I don't think it really matters for the box run. We'll talk about after the box run. Box run, we need, like, we need someone to be forced 100%, and I think that'll probably end up being Murphy. And then we just need a lot of casts <laughs> and damage. But for now, it's probably better you stick to that character. And that character is also really good for Episode 4. So potentially Episode 4, Blue ID. War of Limits is the third quest in the chain is really, 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 really good with Force. Okay, so we'll give Murphy some time. So we have one free slot for people that just want to hop in on a quick thing. But basically, I want to be bringing in probably just a lot of arms for this quest. I don't think I have to worry too much with Heaven Striker. So we'll give until Chris reaches the counter again for somebody to join. Yeah, I'll be switching out to Sky ID for the box run, joke run portion of the stream. I haven't decided if we're going to do it on Anguish. We might just leave it on default difficulty. Just to showcase how easy it is. But I prefer to run at least Anguish 1 if I have V502. I lose very little time. I think our breakdowns were 188 XP a second up until the boxes. Or about 140 if you go to the next set of Morphos. Wait, is it? I always get confused. Why are they both? Okay, right, so we have to go to Mop Up Operation 3. So I believe, looking at the map, if we go straight ahead, it's just an item room. We basically just have to keep going diagonal twice in a row, and we should hit the first point. So with three people, we get the minimum bonus. So that's good. Then after that, we have to go for a specific switch. So I'll wait for Chris, because all the cannabins are the things that we want to kill. 
So if Chap can help kill the Kanoine, which is the leader unit, that should be good. I'm going to try to freeze them maybe a little bit. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. I just want to see him frozen, then I'm going to go for the kill. There we go. Did enough overall damage that didn't matter. I immediately got a 25 hit vice. That's okay. Could be for a new player. Would have preferred a 30 hit for new players, but it's it's okay. <laughs> Fomar's got the guns out. They're pretty good at knocking back the other target since it's random chance. Chris using his new sword. He's happy. He upgraded the 1975 to the Oreo Gato? I don't remember how to say it. I think this is just a treasure room, which we don't really need. Let's go this way. Rochi Agaito? Okay. I wasn't sure how it was spelled, because I don't have the item in front of me. Yeah, it's <laughs> the Oreo is more accurate for sure. I think the switch was in this corner. Or not. Never mind. I forgot. I thought it was near the entrance, but I don't see it. Oh, it's back there. Other side, other side. Yeah, there's not too many Sinnohs. There's a few Barans, but it's mostly just really easy enemies. I'll take that. Nice Gear Assault. Hmm. Oh, it was delayed, okay. I was gonna say, because I don't want to go that other direction yet. The little pause trick, check mag synchro. So there are light switches I can hit in this room, so I'm gonna go for them. Let chat deal with some of these in the meantime. I just prefer to be able to see. So yeah, every, the, every one of these Kennebins or the Gilchicks, depending on which ID you're running, are items of interest. So it's not going to give like a crazy amount of XP, even with XP week, because it is kind of like one of those weaker quests. It's one that's meant to be kind of speedrun. Normally it has a timer on it, which is why I don't ever normally play this quest, because I don't like timer quests. I don't mind things where it counts up with the countdown timers. I'm not a fan. So yeah, as long as we kill a combination of the Cannabin slash Guild Chicks, that's all you would do in the normal run. Don't mind me, just gonna Heaven Strike him from existence. I think we want to go this way. Oh, we get to play Guess the Switch. It's my favorite game. I did not guess correctly. I believe we gotta go this way. It's like, it's like it's slow mode. So yeah, then we gotta backtrack slightly. So basically only one person has to go in the next room. It should just be a switch. I'll showcase for the sake of going. Otherwise we just go in the other hallway. So you can see we have two parallel hallways. The team is gonna go that way. I'm gonna deal with these enemies. That's not gelling. Here we go. Oh, Chris joined me here. I mean, I could kind of assist on the other side. I was thinking because I had the gun, I'd probably be able to snipe some things. So basically, other than getting trolled with this repeatedly, stop that. I'm going to hit the switch here. Oh, he's... Oh, he's not killing the leader unit there. That's a bit unfortunate, actually. I mean, I don't think it drops anything of interest, but typically not what we need to do. Let's get rid of that. So once I hit this... I basically could backtrack, so if somebody puts down a telepipe, I'll just come over to you. I don't need to be here anymore. Let's Ryuker so I could come over there. Wait for the team to throw. Nice. I think I'm there. Perfect. Power of teamwork. 
Rip Chris. Got you, Chris. Oh, my buffs are wearing off, unfortunate. Yeah, XP-wise, not great, but hey, if all you want is vices, you're not gonna run it for the XP, you're gonna run it for the vices or the Jaya. So we're gonna basically go all the way across. One of us will go down when we get into like a... I'll call it the reverse C room. So that way we hit the switch, so I'll handle that, and the team will just continue going up the C, if that makes sense. So we'll be going forward a couple rooms before we hit that. Kind of bins don't really give great XP. I think the waves themselves are okay. Like, you can see, even with XP week, we're struggling to even get 80 a second. I know we're only a three person party, but man, that is just brutally not worth it most of the time. But hey, with the other bonuses, it's a little better. I'm gonna make sure these things get gel in. They potentially could kill new players very quickly. This is probably the most dangerous room in the whole quest. Being surrounded by four Sinnohs without debuffs is basically GG for things like Ramor or solo cast, unless they got a lot of freeze options. We'll continue forward for now. Needed a couple more souls. So basically I'm gonna go into the bottom part of the sea. Chat will just kill things that are in this room. I'm gonna believe in both of you in clear speed. I'm gonna help a little bit here. But basically, I have to hit a certain switch. So, team will continue to fight in the sea. I'm gonna go down here and then I'll rejoin the team. There are a couple crates in here, so if you see anything, draw. Probably from this room. Rude. So many random things here. So interestingly, I kind of open a shortcut there. I think I'm gonna take this. Now I'm in the middle of the room. Where I'm just constantly getting hit by slow traps. How annoying. And now with that, I believe if the team... <sighs> Stop confusing me. I believe that the team telepipes me, we should be good. So I just have to be where the team is. So that's my only job. It doesn't really make sense to walk back. I'm just gonna take a telepipe. Which I hope is this one. There we go. So from here, basically, we just need to go to the right. I believe if you go straight up, there's a healing circle. So I'll showcase the healing circle, but team will go to the right. I'm just going to clear some boxes. So both of those doors to the right lead to the same big room. This is just if you happen to hit the other laser switch, which I think was in the first area. I think that'll show the healing circle. Oh, oops. Never mind, they're both in the other area. I lied to you, chat. We need to go in this door. So technically they both connect, but we had to go this way. So the blue laser gate switch I hit earlier is for this. I'm going to put down a telepipe so Chris can join us. Otherwise I'll just hit the, the laser gate barrier. I'll do both. So that's very rude that it shuts off like that. But either way, we're not going to stop Chris from entering. Yeah, it looks like I did deactivate it there. There's really not much left in the quest. We're actually almost done, believe it or not. I'm just kind of going wild-fired with our heals and berserks. Oh, found the target. Deleted target. Oh boy, that almost killed me. Oh, this could be really bad. Okay, we're good. Hmm. There's the switch. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Aw, oh, nothing close enough to auto-target. That's sad. Yeah, I think right through the upper door is the end of the quest. So we just gotta get through this wave and we're pretty much good. Okay. 
I picked off most of the Sinnohs. Yeah, I think we got one long hallway left. Yeah, pretty much a straight line. I think the area to the right of us is just a uh, treasure. If we really wanted to, I think the other room had a healing circle. I don't really care. I'm not going to check it. <laughs> healing circle or chests either way, not relevant to the run. So yeah, if we go straight up from here, that'll be the final room. Do some box checks since we're here. I got one vice out of it, so we, sh we showcase why purple runs it. Yeah, blue ID can also run it. Not too many others get a lot out of it, because skill chicks just don't have a lot of good rares. There's also not enough Sinnohs to really call it like, you know, like a V101 run or like an Excalibur run. So it's kind of more of the off IDs would potentially run this, in theory. <laughs> Stop stunlocking me. There we go. Nice. We're slowly getting through there. I love the feeling of berserking the brands. That's when you believe in the team. You're like, yeah, kind of my best clear option. Nice, spice is found. And yeah, that's pretty much the quest. Oh, oh, look how glitchy that is. Oh, ho, ho. look at that, chat. We're forming like art noir stuff here. What is happening? <laughs> Job complete, but at what cost? That got real glitchy. That was something. So yeah, sadly, if it had rolled 5% higher, that would have 30% hit is not bad for new players. 25 is questionable. But I'll, I'll still take it, I guess. Sadly, that's probably one of the better hits I've seen on Vice from like my own drops. No, come on, roll a little higher for new players, please. There we go. Like, literally better than nothing, but not the best. Do a quick check for 50s, nothing of interest there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a mostly joke run of Sky ID. Uh, we're gonna do just the box runs for how far you would go normally. And we'll clear the optional room as well, in case people get items in the first set of boxes, so you understand where to go. So if you've not done one before, it's fine. I'll be bringing in a raw cast, so you could do that with that information as you will. I believe Murphy is probably not back yet, because I've not seen- oh, yeah, I haven't seen him say anything recently. We'll land in the quest. Appreciate your help, do it there. We mostly just need hell. We'll do C bank 3. Now the reason- for the box runs, you probably want to be Sky or Red ID for the most part. Red ID getting a lot of Disco Brave Man, Sky ID getting Caliber in addition to a small chance of Yum Chang and a couple other things. But basically, you could in theory do it with any ID since you are you have a chance of rolling any item technically. But definitely take a look at the weapons associated with your ID to figure out which ones are worth running. So for example, Handgun is not a bad one to get, but not a lot of people quote unquote specialize in it. Whereas if you want a really strong Disca, you might lean towards one ID over another if you're looking to get a Rainbow Baton. In our case, we're looking for high hit calibers, which is associated with Sky ID. So we're just going to do the beginning portion, no Anguish. Though I recommend Anguish, honestly, in this run. This character actually gained an entire level yesterday via only, only playing that uh, quest over and over. 
So I'll make sure it's not on Anguish 1 or chat will feel very sad. So just as a showcase with the new Anguish, Anguish 1 adds about 12% EDK, which is basically nothing. You have like an almost 90% chance on most enemies to kill with V502. So it really doesn't impact the run much at all. But I'm just going to be sticking to Hell Handguns, Freeze, Twin Blaze. Don't need any other items for this quest. So we'll do the joke clear. Your real weapons do not matter. I will be helling basically everything, even though it is multiplayer. Multiplayer is almost like the equivalency of playing with higher anguish anyway. So unless the team has like all super upgraded hell, it doesn't make sense to do it. On anguish one, that is. But if you have like hell needle or whatever, then it's like whatever. Do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so they're like 60 EDK, which would normally be... It's 50 for single player Anguish 1, to give you an idea. So it's slightly harder than Anguish 1 CDK. But with this much hell, it doesn't really matter. So characters that have the ability to full clear boxes are preferred in this. So for example, if you have a Rafoe of a decent level, you are generally preferred. If you're looking to really pump up the difficulty, I think Ramar and Ramarl have a pretty good advantage at box clear and high accuracy. I think Rockcast and Rockaseal. I actually prefer Rockaseal for this run because only accuracy matters. Um, hunters are at a disadvantage because you don't have a fast way of breaking boxes unless you have Rafoe. But you wouldn't really want to play things like Humar into this in like anguish difficulties. So we're gonna let the force box clear once Chris is here. Yeah, there's so many things he can't even kill at all in one, it's pretty funny. So normally you just go around and collect all these items. If they're barriers, you pick them up because they're worth more. So sadly, this particular box run was kind of bad. Not even any materials or text to show off. So that would be the normal box run. We're gonna do the extended box run. So let's say, for example, you had to go collect items from that first room. So the first room we were in in the game had four boxes. Technically, those could be PDs or box drops. So you'd come over this way. We we're going back down the same hallway we were at before. We rotate the camera so we don't see the enemy. Then we held them out of existence. We make a little turn here. There's going to be squids on the bottom and top floor, so let the team choose which way they want to go. I'm going to handle the top floor since I'm first. Basically what I want to do is just kind of line up some hells. And then I can assist from up here. Never mind, don't even need to. You'd pop two boxes. This is where you'd normally clear with Sky ID since you want to get extra... Uh, potentially Morphos kills. You could end technically in the Morphos hallway for Sky ID. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. This hallway kind of sucks. I'm still learning what to deal with it. Our destination is here for people that need items that are over there. The downside is behind those two dolems are a Del Beater. So if you get too close, they the Del Beater will just murder you. So the, the Del Beater has shown up. So if we have freeze traps, we'd prefer to use them. I don't have a good weapon to showcase how to defeat him, but basically a good multi-hit would work. Twin Blaze is okay versus it. I'm going to put down a Freeze Trap, just to finish them all. And we're going to switch back to Hell Handgun and deal with the Morphos that's behind us. And then we're almost there for the door. So the Del Beater is definitely going to what is like what makes Anguish harder if you're doing up to this point. And we got one more set of Morphos, so I'm going to choose not to look down the hallway to avoid them. Wow, I missed that many Hells. That was brutal. Got my back though, and this is where you normally just go down the ramp and collect the items. So at the very beginning of the run, I open these, I got a guardian armor. And that would be it. You would not go to this point normally on Anguish. Unless you were doing some really crazy runs. So nothing of interest. So we'll teleport back, I'm gonna sell the junk. So now we'll do a proper clear. So this is it before. Sky ID, red ID are popular, but technically any work for the box run. It's very easy XP with Hell, in particular if you have V502. Um, you do not need a V5 unit if you are just doing non-Anguish, but if you are doing Anguish, you should definitely take it with you, because 12% is a noticeable difference. Okay, so I'm going to put away the Hell handgun for now. 
I could bring in a strong character. So we need a blue ID. So I could bring in a Hudu roll who can act as like a buff debuff character. And then Chat can just bring in their strongest ATP slash accuracy slash ranger. So now we're in the quote unquote serious run. Yeah, blue ID is definitely preferred for underground here because there are so many Del Beaters. Just, and because of the fact that you get Del Beaters, that's a lot of Psycho 1 chances. There are a lot of Dull Molems, I think they're called, which can give Monkey King Bar if you're really desperate for that hunt, or like Musashi if you're going for like the uber rare high hit percentage version. Yeah, you just. Ranger, Ranger or Hunter is fine. Ranger is slightly preferred. It's mostly because you have to deal with Del Beater. So if you have, if you have like Frozen Shooter, you can freeze the the fidget spinners because there are fidget spinners in this quest. Yeah, the Dolan Darl's pink ID is okay, but generally speaking, you're not going to pick anybody that isn't really strong in Seabed. And due to the fact that there is a lot of Del Beaters in this quest, people will run it for the Del Beaters. In fact, I think this, it, I just confirmed, it is the number one preferred quest for this uh, Del Beater hunt. So if there's anything on Del Beater, I'd recommend you bring it. I'm going to bring in a character that can handle okay buffs. So that way, if the team brings in casts or humor or whatever, we should be fine. And I have some crowd control with level 20 techs to try to stop the Del Devs from doing anything. So this run can take a little bit of time. I'm gonna make sure we bring in. Oh, I don't think I put. I didn't think I put my V502 away. Might be a mistake, actually. As long as Chris is V502, I will not go back. If he does not have V502, I'm going back. So there's no way I want to do that quest without it. it. At least one person needs it, or else this quest is gonna take forever. I will preemptively start typing in my C Bank three. I'm going to assume he does not have it. I will go take it. I put my handgun away, but I forgot to put away the V5 unit. Normally, I just leave it on that character all day long when it's the PW3. Oh, you do have it? I'm still going to grab it anyway, actually. Yeah, I, I had a feeling someone did not have it. So that's fine. So let's bring this in. Did you want to borrow one, Dango? I don't have a V502, but I have a V501. No worry about the super delay. It's fine, it's a distance thing. I do have a spare V501 if you need it, Dango. I even have a sp spare hell guns. <laughs> so it's like, I'll just be like, have this. Just to, we'll, we'll put it on loan. I did not mean to quit out there, that was a mistake. I went to bank swap and I realized I hit the wrong button. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the put away the V502. We're gonna see bank one. We're also secretly stalling for Murphy, but if he's not there, it's not the end of the world. So at least we could say we waited for Murphy for about a minute. <laughs> so I had to go recollect the other item. Yeah, I can loan out a V501. I'll probably have the V502 because I have more accuracy. And again, I'm going to try to use Rebarda to stop them from potentially hitting us. It does mess up the group spawn, so if Chris has freeze traps, I'd prefer he use those when we see Dale Depths. And otherwise, I think he's the only source of Frozen Shooter, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> Normally, you prefer at least two here, so we might get punished. We'll see. I know it gets kind of intense on the later floors. Let's go ahead and make the game. Go retrieve the items from there. Probably afford to get rid of a Heavenly Power. We will give a... I'm going to wear the Hell Handgun. I have another Hell Handgun as a spare in case you need it, Dango. But I can loan the V501 at least. Where is it at? Always keep two. 
so we'll drop that for him. I'm gonna switch into the Hell Handgun. And then D502 it. So I'll just spin near Dango. Otherwise I'll put the other handgun away. Just let me know, Dango, if you need it. I'll retrieve it. But I think Kunai will help a little bit with some things, but not a whole ton. I'm gonna bring in my escape dolls for sure. Okay, you got a hell gun? Nice. Yeah, I figure it's better than nothing. Okay, don't see Murphy, but I guess we're gonna start the quest. The same quest is gonna be a lot more difficult. The beginning part will be easy. It's when we start getting into the underground where we have to deal with, I think, 20-something Delbeaters? It's where it gets a, gets a little ugly. So hopefully somebody has demons as well. I don't think I have demons, but I have burst damage. Might be okay. I, I'm going to be debuffing them anyway, so I, I should probably not be demoning. Sort our inventory out a little bit. The hell handgun's always at the top. Nice. Yeah, see, so even this character's able to mostly land these shots. It's not too bad. Like, her hair looks, like, really pale blue in some of the lights of the hallway. Walk further into the room. There we go. You can also put a freeze trap right here if we want to uh, lock them down. But since we're doing for a longer run, we probably shouldn't do that. You know what, Chad? I don't... Oh, that's fine. No need to worry about that. Hello, freeze trap. That trap does low damage. I sometimes just ignore it, to be honest. So yeah, so I got decent box clear, at least with Rifoe. But the thing is, if you're playing multiplayer, make sure everybody's in the ward before you pop them. Or else, uh, people will be missing items. Nicely done. I'll pick up random items to sell for later. I'm out of room already, I barely picked anything up. That's sad. I guess I had too many junk units over here. Good enough. Yeah, beginning rooms, not too bad. And again, having a staple buff and little debuff. Horses are nice to some extent, but I definitely prefer like the mix. This is probably one of the few times where I'm like, I straight up would prefer a raw marl over a force in the scenario. Just because I think the ability to land hell shots by playing a character with higher accuracy outweighs the difference in the shifted D-band Zalor. Especially Frozen Shooter. Bringing Frozen Shooter in as well is uh, phenomenal. So I think Raw Marl is a pretty good support for a mostly cast party, for example. This character's okay at it. Like, again, in theory, I could be playing Blue ID Force, but he's pre pretty much not going to land Hell at all. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'd rather have a character with, like, literally almost 30 more ATA. Oop. I went for the freeze there. Was not rewarded. Yeah, the trick with the Del Beater is it can't laser you if you're point blank. And if it and it can't stomp you unless you're point blank, so you have to react to what attack it's doing. And if you're not sure what to do, just circle around the Delbeater repeatedly. Because if it if it does like a triple laser, it actually locks it in place for quite a long time. Oh, I got hit by the laser. I deserve that. I looked at the enemy. I should no longer be lasered though. Thank you. How did that laser hit me? It seems like it was way out there. So anyway, chat, your guess is as good as mine. I don't normally full clear this quest, but I figure I might as well check what was over here. Nothing of interest. That's so sad.
We're now on our wild adventure. War Limits is a lot more straightforward. It could take a little bit if you don't have a full team. <laughs> We're already at a choice. Interesting. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down a safety Ryuker in case we're wasting our time. I see a laser switch at the end of the hallway. I will go get the switch. Team could go the other way. Just want to hit the switch. Just want to hit the switch. There we go. Oh, team followed me. I was going to say, we got to go back. I don't know what that did, but I hit it. I think I've done this quest to completion maybe three times across four years. It's not a quest I normally run. So sorry if there's a lot of rust with it. I can see I opened a late. Oh, it opened a path to the healing circle. Got it. So if we find another laser gate, we could have opened that up. Interesting. Lock the route to tower. Okay, so I'm going to go down. We're going to play Pick a Path. So I'm going to put another Ry Ryuker down. They got me mid-cast. That was rude. I'm going to check this way. Team check the other way. Oop. Well, I found out what's in my hallway. It's uh, unfortunate. This is where demons would have helped me a lot if I end up soloing that kind of stuff. Our team has so much ATP that it doesn't matter. But if I solo like this, I do need it. So all this to get the healing circle. Okay, let's go back. I think it was worth doing that check for the Del Beater. I don't think the full passageway was worth it. So yeah, so if Chris wanted to restock his traps, he could go back to the northern path. In theory, what I can do, actually... Oh, it actually spawned enemies in the other room. Let me go back. So what, what can happen in theory to save Chris time? He can go wild on freeze traps. I will leave a Ryuker next to the healing circle. I think that's the strat. So that way if Chris ever needs it, he could take, he could use his Ryuker equivalency to take my telepipe equivalency. So there we go. So feel free to go crazy with traps, Chris. <laughs> if you ever get low, we have a way to reach it now. And that's called responsible gaming with the party. You, you gotta take, T gotta take advantage of those multiplayer strats. Otherwise, you're just playing bad single player. Oh, these guys have good resist. I don't think I'm gonna land it on them. At least I wanna hit the Morphos. Come on. There we go. Oh, I got the insta kill. Yeah, the nice thing about me getting health spam is it doesn't cause the robots to really teleport that much, if at all. So potentially we just end up doing that. Since my hell handgun has got decent stats on it, I can just damage them with it. Kind of expecting a Del Beater. Oh, I went to Kafoe, but I'm too slow. If only I had Vito one, that would have been fast enough. Alright, so we're gonna try to bait this guy. Nice. Use Garrisol for my focus damage, which is definitely better than Twin Blaze. Gotta be aware of Confuse when it does that little shout attack. That's why some people wear a Cure Confuse into the quest. So that way they can melee without being harassed. So again, I'll try to keep the team buffs up. <laughs> I was almost expecting Del Beater. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, hmm. We got some chests up here, that's not too bad. I'm trying to dodge the other thing. Kill the Rico box. Kill the other Rico box. Don't you freeze teleport on me. That's rude. I'm being attacked. Leave me alone. Soundtrack died on us. Rip soundtrack. There we go. Fake wall? No, not fake. Okay. This is the before. Chris will just spam whatever traps he feels are needed, and then when he's low, he'll just say back or something. In the meantime, we'll just do what we can. Like, there's no sense in using them on the squids for the most part, but if we see a lot of enemies like this, we'll think about it. Welcome back, Murphy. Whoa. Let's dodge that. Oh, I tried to believe in the hell chance. 
was not rewarded. Okay. Do you have a choice to up or down? I'm gonna go up first. Mostly just looking for Del Beater spawns. We're getting trolled by Sinozoa, apparently. Uh... Oh, my accuracy is so bad, I couldn't even land the heavy. Oops, I should have been looking at my accuracy gauge. Alright, at least we can mostly stun lock with last spawn. Oh, you thought you were gonna mix me up on that teleport? Nice try, though. The downside about me exploring and separating is I can't go back. Yeah, that 35% normal was brutal. Yeah, this is what I was saying before. Oh, I hit a laser gate. Unfortunately, I can't telepipe away since I'm the only person that put a telepipe near the healing circle, which makes me sad. But oh well. Eventually, that'll be fixed. In the meantime, we'll go downwards. Hopefully, you're doing well, Murphy. Enjoy your food. Let's go assist the team. They've been murdering in this room for quite some time. Lots of boxes down there. I'm assuming the laser gate just gives access to the boxes. Oops. The team has gone down this way. Lots of items spawned over here. It's kind of funny. See, in theory, we could build a mag glass if we don't telepipe. There's interesting things to consider. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, we don't even need to do that then. Then I can put one here. Interesting. Okay, so my split path opened this place up, I'm pretty sure. Good to know. I knew there was at least one healing circle in there. I couldn't remember if there were two. So yeah, we'll all put ours there and then we'll just designate who goes back. So that should make splitting a little faster. Red robots, we don't mind helling. Ah, uh, the Silent Hill Bomberman combo. Yeah, we just gotta top everybody's stats up and we should be good. So yeah, I, I would need at least a 50 hit thing to do it. Oh, Photon Draw. To land a normal combo on the Sinos. Just kind of brutal. So I might have to charge Vulcan them going forward if I want to do any heavy attacks. But the usefulness of the speed of the pistol is good. For stun locks. Mostly straightforward so far. We had a couple detours, mostly just to get healing circles. I think it's fair. Like that they can't see me as long as I'm on the ramp. On the ramp, I mean. <laughs> Stupid. I love it though. Hopefully one of us will end up getting a Yun Chang or something nice from this quest. So also if we had a ranger with Hell Needle, you can see there's a lot of enemies here that are weak to Hell. So you can see we're just part of the support firing squad. Yeah, I can't even land. I think a special on the Sinozoa unless he's frozen. Let's debuff the Del Beater and heal myself in a moment. He's stomping me because I got too close. Can I melee him from here? Oh, I can. Okay, two can play at the melee game then. Check me. Yeah, let's get rid of these. So again, because we're not playing Force, we have better accuracy. And we're more likely to land our shots on Morphos, which helps speed the clear up a little bit. We're gonna blind fire at the other end of the room. I deserve to get lasered there. So yeah, pretty much everything is hellable here. That's why we loaned a V5 unit to Dango. Otherwise, he's just gonna melee bully all the targets. There we go, held that target. So basically, it's just Del Beaters, Del Depths that are a big pro- Oh, I was not expecting another wave. I thought it was over, actually. Would not have come down here otherwise. Most unfortunate. Alright, so what we could do, we don't have a good demons, but we have so much ATP that as long as I Zalore here, we should be fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not bad damage. I love what Kofoe drops somewhere. Let me go check for that. Yeah, definitely recommended at a full party. Somebody should probably demons. I guess technically it's my fault, but I kind of thought about uh, just being support with Zalor and stuff like that. So my first instinct is not to demons. Uh, get rid of these, I guess. What's oh boy? Oh yeah, we're in the second area. So yeah, first area was fine. I honestly don't think the first area is super hard. There's only a couple rooms, like the double, the double Del Beater is kind of annoying, but like from a casual clear perspective, solo, it's, it's not too bad. Now is where it starts to get a little, hmm. We hope you brought a party territory. Yeah, Dango's basically got about a 50-50 with V501 of killing most enemies with hell. Just not bad if he just normal special specials. Might as well roll the dice. Since everybody is going to be helling. And the best part is actually he has Jizai, which uh, also is hell chance. So in theory, he will be able to hell a lot of targets while still having a good option for Del Beater. That was a rude teleport. Rude. Don't appreciate that. So he's got a few options as a hunter over what some people have. <laughs> Just spam healing. As long as we have some ATP, we should be fine. Technically, oh no. Oh, Chris, you have to focus the Del F. No! <laughs> you, okay. Priority number one, everything else doesn't matter. Please do not let the Del Def do anything. It's so bad if it does something. I'm <laughs> just like, please let it leave me alone. I don't want to get, I don't want to get negated. It's such a time waste when that happens. I'm going to deal with the Morphos. The other one went in the, oh, there it is. Good freeze. Just eye for damage is good. So this is where Ranger with Frozen Shooter is highly recommended. So we didn't have to deal with Del Def's before. But they are the scariest thing here. They will probably party wipe us if there's like three of them. Uh, nothing to do over here. Let's go this way. Imagine we'll be coming back here at some point. They're kind of like a fair murder flower. Yeah, kind of. Not a bad way of thinking about it. I wish... I wish if they were going to do like hell attacks on the murder flowers. I wish they did an alternation of elements and the death attack, and the death attack was also resistible. Even if it was, like, not completely resistible, like, if it was at, like, 120, I still think it would have been fair, honestly. Just not at a thousand, whatever it is, set to normally. You know, that way if you have, like, 40 resist, you have some small chance of res living kind of things. Held up his 84 for immunity. Good to know. I wonder if I should put that in the guide, actually. Maybe I'll do that later. I'll write that down for now. 84 EDK for Delta. You're wide open! Thank you for the follow. Fall in. Hope you're doing well. boxes. Technically we're still doing box checks. You never know. Yeah, I think Jezai here, especially if you get proof of sword stain, is actually shockingly accurate. So you can land a lot of hells on these things. Yeah, it's got a lot of Del Defs, which is unfortunate. I do not look forward to those. I'm gonna go ahead and Zalore. It's like demoning in an ATP party. There we go, that should just be GG. So we have a couple choices here. I guess we could start by going upwards. Hmm, this feels like a Del Beta room. Speaking of which.
Oh, it wasn't done charging. That was awkward. Okay. If he wants to walk up and melee me, that's fine. I'll call myself the, the group decoy. There we go. This is why we made sure our hell handgun is at the top of the list no matter what. So no matter what weapon I'm using, hell handgun is just always the first, which is the best way to play this whole area. We'll switch off music. I think we're finally done with Bomberman Online. With specifically the online portions of the soundtrack. Give me one second as we switch soundtracks. Let's listen to Bomberman Land, which does not appear to be in track order, which is crazy. Why would you do... Why would you make a playlist that's not in the track order? Like, actual tomfoolery, chat. Gonna pick a different soundtrack, then. Playlist, that is. Okay, sorry about that. So we'll check what's over here. See which way the team went. The team went left. I'm gonna go right. So I ended up at a warp. Where does this go? It's just for items. Oh. Not quite. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> right, chat? Oh boy. It begins. Where do I go? Yeah, so the other Phantasmal World wasn't too bad. I'm in now in full maze land. Oh, that room looks horrible. Let's not do that one. Let, let's see what the other paths are. That one seems like I need a full team for it. Ooh. Lots of Rico boxes. I think I'm going to tag out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the Telepipe here so we can come back here sooner. I'm going to take a Telepipe from team. So I just need one Telepipe from somebody and we should be good. Which I think will probably be Chris. So I'll wait for the telepipe. Oh, never mind. Somebody else already did it. Yeah, that other area was looking awful, by the way. Okay, yeah, froze one. I love I could barely hit them while they're frozen. So unfair. I see the team is having fun with Deldups. My path just divulged into definitely Delvita room and then a room that's too annoying to solo. <laughs> Dango lured the hard way. Why you don't do that? That's true. This goes rip. Okay, so all this was just for treasure so far. What happens if we go this way? Oh, well, team came from here already. Okay. And I think team takes my telepipe back, I guess? Yeah, so we'll, we'll let team take the telepipes. I'm gonna very quickly sell some items so I can make room for drops, and then we'll, we'll proceed, I think. I don't think I need Jai on this run, so I'm going to put that in my bank at least. Let's get rid of these. Put away... Kunai for now. Jaya for now. And the power? Yeah. Okay. Be a little better. So that way, there's basically two rooms I could have gone to, and both of them seem terrible. I put the team near the least terrible of the group. And since I don't super care about the drops outside of that, it's not too bad. So yeah, there's the, it looks like a long murder hallway here, so we might have to come back here. So I'm going to put down a Ryuker in case we have to make another choice later. So for now, this is maybe the optional path? Question mark? Uh, so we can see a little warp, and that leads to boxes. So it's just a lot of box checks. Oh, I kind of want that power material, though. It looks like we'll clean up there. 
Oh, is that literally just goes in a loop? That's all it does. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is just purely optional. So that should take us to the chest. Oh, it didn't take us right there. Where did this put us? Oh. Okay, so we got a bit of a walk. Okay, I'm glad I put the telepipe down in the other spot then. So that was all for a switch, and the switch did what exactly? So we still can't do anything here. Oh, that's the final- oh, I'm sorry, that's not an optional area. We have to go there. I see the uh, floor switch. So our destination is that room we just saw in front of us. So once we reach that, then we should be able to disable the camera. Remember to disable the camera or experience big sadness. Yeah, I didn't realize the box room was going there. I thought that it was just warping between two points. Then I saw the switch on the floor, and I'm like, wait a minute. You're an awful camera toggle, aren't you? Bad camera be gone. Killed it with the hell handgun for disrespect. Oh, so I'm gonna get a couple hits there. We just, we just all decided to stop doing what we're doing, pulling the dope here. <laughs> we're just like, it's frozen, get him! <laughs> Seems very fair. Hardcore, hardcore bullying going on. So we're almost at the final room, which I think will put us in that one big arena-ish area right before Olga Flow normally. Speaking of rude, I like that auto attack instantly stopping me from comboing. I missed 190% special. Hell please. B502, you failed me. So disappointed. So now we're crisscrossing over the room we need to go to. There we go. Take that moon atomizer for sure. So basically we're just looping to go up, to go left, to go down. Okay, so it wasn't like a huge maze. I would still probably not remember which way saves time, but I feel like going the side paths generally gives us uh, healing circles and stuff like that. Oh, maybe that switch turns off the poison in this room. Maybe that's what that did. So we don't have to worry about that, because I didn't see what color this room was when we touched that. I think I want to come up here and uh, just lure everything. There we go. Here's our last couple of chances at Psycho Wand. Yeah, exactly. I, I was saying earlier, I only played this like a handful of times to completion. Like, I've definitely completed it before, and like, I remember some of the gimmicks, but not all of them, particularly on the second floor. Ooh, that's a lot of... Oh, I've landed... I, I got hell anyway. Nice. Gotta believe in that. Double hell with barely any accuracy? I'll take that. That was a huge time save. Thank you, Hoodoo Roll. I could not have done that with Boris. Okay, they killed him for me. Might as well just YOLO the special. Fish full quest less than 10 times, none of them are RBR. I, I've only full cleared maybe four times total across many years of gameplay. Almost all of them were related to uh, RBR. I think I tried completing this quest once a long time ago when I first learned about the box runs, and that was it. And it was like a two year hiatus. Because I was like, this is horrible. Because I did it solo, too, which I don't recommend. Make sure you step on the switch. Or you'll be very sad. Mm -hmm. So we're in the Falls Battle Arena. Or not Falls. Olga Flow Battle Arena. So yeah, we're landing decent chances of hell. I would say solo force here wouldn't actually be the worst thing ever. Just due to the fact that uh, EDK is lower by quite a bit in single player. So, like, I could see myself me getting a lot. And with a good Zalor on the Del Beater, Del Beaters aren't terrible. I don't know what they would do against uh, Del Death other than die, to be honest with you, though, in single player, but other portions don't seem too bad. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even teleport to me. I was like, where did he go? Spam Rebarda and get lucky. Pretty much. 
Those things definitely take forever. Like, these squid rooms... It's like a demonic fork. It's, it's not too bad. Don't even need V502. It'd still be preferred in some scenarios when they have good resist, but for the... the... Squid Squad, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, it's not too bad. It's like one of the few quests I can actually see piercing me get being good at. Oh my, get off of me. Oh. I lighted the freeze. Oh, but I didn't kill it. No, I didn't have good damage. I was too scared to last one because I'd have no accuracy. Oh, chat killed it though. We're good. I love the disrespectful hell. Just let him leap at you and you're like, I'm gonna hell you. So let's heal up and then rebuff. That way team gets some resistances to this nonsense. You took my handgun from me. That was rude. So yeah, this is basically just a hell spam quest. So I would have like a 40% chance of landing it with Migid. It's okay with max level Migid. I didn't realize how squid heavy it was, but I guess it makes sense. There were like 150 total squids, I think, between the two floors. But feeling it out... The density... Oh, no. No, get away from me. Oh, the double freeze? Uh, that's fine. I, I don't think I could combo kill them if I'm not expecting it. I, I will gladly take that chat. You know what? The fact that I stunned two of them... Thank you, Romarl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I am not winning otherwise. I'm gonna die so fast. Yo, he put his hands up, like, don't hit me. I'm like, no, thank you. I do what I want. Killed one. Yeah, this this room is like the absolute oh, nightmare solo. I remember doing this a long time ago. I would not want to do this room in solo. I guess they really make you work for lucky coins. Also, a reminder, there are lucky coins since a Phantasmal World quest. I think you gotta talk to the reporter character to get them. At least get rid of Amorphos. Maybe we'll slow down a Delta. Nice. Heal up the team, rebuff. Get murdered by... I got hit the, like, the only spot I could stand in and still get hit. That was so sad. I was thinking he was in the middle of the room and I was blocking him with the pillar. I was sort of right. Do a couple pot shots here and there. See, now they came from where I thought they were going to come from. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and just do what we can to debuff them. Nice freeze. Build one. One last thing to worry about. So yeah, we'll try to protect Chris so he can get some pot shots on things. Keep him topped off on health a little. Up another die fluid here, I think. It's the lore, the Del Beater. We can't really do much unless they laser. But against Jizai, they're just going to get uh, absolutely stomped. See, with the three-man team, I think it's actually going pretty well. Like, you see, we're getting 125 XP. Obviously, if we had one more person, we'd probably get another 20 or so XP a second. So it's, like, not bad for leveling, honestly. If you're playing high-end, of course. Not if you're, like, level 150 or below. I don't recommend that. But if you, you know, you're, you're in a red ring party, for example... I could see this potentially as, like, when it's an RBR being used while still getting good hunts. So many enemies. Where even are the squids? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, game. Uh, I'm getting hard locked down, but I think I got invincibility, which is good. Let's lock this stuff down. Not who I wanted to target, but I think I gotta commit because the game yanked me to face him. Let me get rid of the Del Beaters for the team. I'm about to lose my buff. 
And then he stopped doing that as soon as he did that. That's convenient. Quest cleared. So yeah, XP was fine for XP week. I would probably only run it again with four people, but you know, it went okay. Obviously, Hugh Newell is kind of... There's a warp here. Uh, It's probably just to go back to the other place. I could take it. All that for the healing circle. There you go. Look at that healing circle. Healing circle acquired. So I guess we could have fought our way through there. I'm not sure when that was there. I was too busy being distracted by Delbeater to the face to really notice it. Mission complete. Nice. I could Ryuk her out of here, but I at least want to see the end here. I want to zoom in again. Clear the mission, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to make sure we talk to you afterwards, because I think you just say you're glad we're back, but we got to hand it in first. Get a fine job, enjoy, get your money, and talk to you. There we go. Lucky coins. And because of the fact the lucky coins only care about the number of players that play, four is ideal. But hey, it's better than nothing. Look at that, chat. You can now gamble. Love episode two gambling. The best. Wing. <laughs> I think that showcased the quest. I think we did okay with it. First floor, good. Second floor, well, we showed off the content. That's all that matters. Put that away, put that away. Deposit a lot of money. There we go. <laughs> Just casually go up like half a million or more from doing box runs for an hour. A little extra money. So then we're going to switch into... I guess I could remain as this character for Blue ID. It doesn't really matter who makes the game. I guess technically if... If uh, Dango brings his force, I could bring in literally anything. So we will preferably play Blue ID for it. Murphy looks like a red ID. So yeah, you probably want to bring forces, but if you're bringing a cast too, that's fine. Yeah, I saw his red ID on the chest. So we'll let Dango bring it in. Okay, Chris has to go for now. Sorry about that. Hopefully you get some rest. It's even beat. Uh... <sighs> I don't know if I feel like playing Pew Pew Laser, to be honest. I don't think I do. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't think I care about PP laser in this quest. It's a lot of Astarks. So I think as long as we have that, I should probably just bring in a you know what I'm gonna bring in? Which I prefer. I'm gonna bring in my uh Hugh Casil. So I actually like playing her. I get to benefit from her high accuracy. And traps. I mostly just want the accuracy for Astarks and Zoos and stuff like that for sniping. I guess technically I could bring in my Hugh cast if I wanted to, but... I do really enjoy Hugh Casil in episode 4. And plus it's showing, showcasing a new character anyway. So between two forces and the cast for ATP, I think we'll be fine. So we'll Dango make the game since he's blue ID. And then we'll all join him. So if there's anybody that wants to join in for that... Giga Grill asks, do I know you, Dango? I feel like we're all just in the squad formation. I 
this memory of playing with you years ago. Oh no, we're, le we're learning the Dango lore today. Deep Dango lore. Yeah, I've got pretty much everything I need. Twin Blaze, Girasol. Wild Dango lore, exactly. Was it was it before or after he became wild, or is this the origin story of the wildness? <laughs> so yeah, with two forces, they're gonna be taking care of all the fireball targets. So they're gonna be doing a lot of unarmed casting and or will bring magical piece if they want to save TP. Or they will be bringing in basically Gafoe slash Ruffoe merge, depending on uh distance of target. I don't think there's a lot of opportunities to Gafoe stack in this quest. And there are a surprising amount of Astarks. So I will be preferably handling as many Astarks as possible and freeze trapping as much as I can. But in general groups, I'm probably going to slow them down with some confused traps. So I'm looking to basically pump out damage. And anything that is zoo or Astark shaped, I will probably focus hard. Although if I see Babuda, I will probably just confuse trap them. That way they get to know how horrible it is to fight Babuda. Oh, thank you for the V501 back. I was going to ask later, but that works. Oh, we're like merged partially. So the squad is moving out. See, it's a lot of like one of two ofs in the beginning, which is really awkward. I remember I remember this specifically because I'm like, why is there only one target? just gonna delete them where we can. And this is why I was thinking it's probably fine to just bring this character in with ATP. Because honestly, I do like fighting the satellite lizards with this character if I really need to get through them. Stupid Rappy. I was looking for the Astarch. There it is. And we like almost combo kill. So the trade-off is obviously Hugh Cast would be able to get away with uh, potentially just charge Vulcaning everything. But this is kind of a long quest that doesn't have a lot of uh, healing circles at all. So I know that I can't really depend on Freeze Trap if I'm the only cast to cover everything. So I just have to kind of brute force everything. And hope my accuracy is good enough. Yeah, and I, I do like the last swan slightly more than my other options for dealing with zoos. I do a twin blaze as a backup in case I really need to shoot something there, but it's not very often I need to. Yeah, we killed them in like only a couple combos. Kind of nice. Oops. Yeah, so ideally here, the only super hunt of interest is we played Limiter. There's so many Astarks. I mean, technically, you could get things like Photon Crystals and some Constellation Prizes like Jaya, but you're not going to do this for a Jaya hunt specifically. So again, the more we ignore the fire weak enemies, the better. This is going to run in circles until I died. Is like checkmate. Yeah, and I have decent options to deal with the Babudas at least. This team doesn't have to worry about them. Those are the mage killers. Yeah, there's a lot of really awkward spawns where it's like Babuda, Astark, and like just things that are not really fun to fight. So it like slightly leans Rabarda just because how many ice weak enemies there are. But at the same time, it's like I don't know. Okay. This is a quest I could see without doing pure force, but it, it's still nice to have them, so it's whatever. It's it's their level up grounds, they could do whatever they want. The only thing we gotta do is pop out that freeze trap to slow things down a little. Yeah, and then team will just clean it up there. So, so far I don't really see too many traps in the quest. Remember there's like handful. I don't think there's any like super deadly rooms. 
wait for the team to come here before I destroy this. There we go. Let team pop those. And hit the red barrier. So we unlocked a warp somewhere. So right side is traps. Left side is safe. So there are paths you could take, at least if you replay the quest a few times. Also, the benefit of playing cast is being able to showcase where the traps are. We're gonna go and put a little happy freeze trap down for the team. They don't have to deal with this. Again, just solid lockdown. Some door fawns. And put another happy freeze trap down. So we're gonna go try trigger the dwarf on. Oh, I didn't bring kunai. Oh, I'm such a fool. The fool chat should have brought kunai. So there's a path we could go that way. I think that's the only place we could go. Yep. Because V501 plus kunai is god tier against dwarf on. So if I'm playing with, if I'm like the only ATP in the group. I could just shut down a lot of dwarf fawns. Fortunately, I don't think there's like a ton, a ton of them in this quest. They're mostly going to be one of fun ofs in most waves. I don't, I don't expect to see triple or quadruple dwarf fawn in this quest, but I do expect to see nearly endless Astark. Yeah, this is the recommended quest for Astark, and the people, the reason why people run it is specifically for limiter chances. So I don't mind running this quest a few times. It's just. It's a very big expanse. So I know for me, I, I got burned out from playing Force on this specific quest. I love Force, but I love ATP so much more in this quest. So I'm bringing in the character I want to play. Let me confuse trap them. That's what they deserve. There we go. They just kind of wiggled a lot and didn't do anything. That's what I want to see. Uh, I might as well just pop these chests. You never know. Episode 4 box items are generally solid. Depending on the difficulty, it ends up just being a lot of uh, uh, photon crystals or 13s. So high level play will check boxes for those things. All that for a red laser gate. Interesting. We gotta go back to the other area. Top sign is kind of mid, subterranean is great. Yeah, there's like only a handful of IDs on surface that are kind of fun to run. Like you'll do a lot of dwarf on only stuff with uh, sky ID, for example. I think green ID surface is also okay. It really just depends on, oh, there were boxes back there. Uh, Which one is the safe route? Oh, neither of traps. Interesting. Oh, the other one did have one confused trap, I guess, or slow. But nothing that's like game ruining. Get rid of these. Confuse it seems. Uh, I'm just gonna confuse trap them as they get burned. So we see that there's a lot of boxes over here. We should probably check those. Anything fun in the boxes? So again, we're just doing full screen damage. All we gotta do. Eliminate Babudas, they got everything else. And if we need to stall for time, we could do fire traps to do more damage. We could confuse traps so they fight each other. There's a lot of options, potentially. There's a ton of uh, status effect traps around here, which is kind of annoying. So this would be kind of hard to say. You have to be like dead center in the path and then you won't get hit kind of deals. I don't think there's anything else over there, just some items. Hello, Romo Battery. Hope you're doing well. We're almost done showcasing the RBR, but we'll be doing some quests afterwards, whatever the team wants. So we're going to wait for the team here. Let's put a happy little Confused Trap down. That way they can get in position and I could just kill everything that is not fire immune. There we go. Just Excalibur the Rapid to the face. That's how Murphy chooses to say hello. 
buy the team a lot of time to damage the targets. Again, we're gonna stall again. So the less thing to hit the forces, the better. Hopefully you're doing well, remote battery. As I said before, I don't mind running this quest. If we're if we if team needs limiters, this is like the time to do it when it's an RBR. Unfortunately, it's not RBR plus rare reek, which would be like the ideal, but it's still better than nothing. Because it still gives pretty good XP. Otherwise, this quest is just not really fun to run. Dango needs limiters. Alright, do some limiter runs. Yeah, I technically need limiters too. Technically. I keep rotating between like two of them. Bird, please. Why do you forsake me, Zoo? And the music loves pausing, stop that. Nicely done. So again, they'll finish off the things that are fire weak. It seems like there's a healing circle over there. Which, I, if I'm a lower level player, that's important to know it's there. Remember what I was saying? Doing great, hit level 80 last night, did an ultimate CTF, very humbling experience. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's definitely really rough to hit at level 80. That is definitely like, oh, you don't have gear? Perish. <laughs> Especially for solo, it's like, ooh, you're not doing any damage. <laughs> but like, Vault Off is like, yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. And then Balls is like, oh, you can't even damage me unless you've got good stuff. But you're welcome to join in on some hunts for Mo Battery. He just kicks you dead. We're almost in the final room, I think. It's a room that looks like this, and it just leads to near infinite uh, spam spawns. As I said before, I'm gonna try to focus the Astark. I'll let the team do fire damage. Did you know the flowers cast me get? Oh, that's that's unfortunate. We cover that in the guide. There are a lot of really horrible enemies that get updated. In particular, murder flowers are horrible in episode two. You think they're bad in episode one, remote battery? Oh boy. You are in for a no fun time for uh, <laughs> the new enemy type in episode two. <laughs> That's why I always talk about why I don't like episode two. It's because of those changes. Really, really hate that quest line for the most part. I might as well check the boxes since I see them. There's something satisfying about shooting them all in a row. So again, a lot of box checks for people that are looking for 13 and Photon Crystal. I don't 100% recall what Blue ID explicitly gives. Give me one second. Boxes are like the only thing I don't have like down for the common runs. It's episode 4, Surface is Red Coat and Photon Crystal. Red Coat people don't care about, sadly. Yellow ID, Red ID, Purple, and Sky also, as well as Viridian, get 13 and that. So as I said before, when people do a lot of box checks, uh, it's a lot of potential Photon Crystals. But the other ones potentially getting 13 is kind of insane. Yeah, a lot of enemies got updated behaviors, and most of them are not fun to deal with. And that's why Mines on Ultimate is one of the hardest areas to play as a new player. It will just absolutely steamroll you. There's nothing you can do. Get rid of this. There we go. You at least have more than one character that's at least level 40. Oops, could not target the zoo properly there, so I'm gonna do that. Into this. Red coat is basically. Yeah, it's not even the good one. It's not Crimson Coat, sadly. I, I don't even recommend farming Red Coat at all. Just skip to Crimson Coat, it's so much better. Red Coat is the desperation item. If you really, really want to do Episode 1 early, instead of just taking the time to farm Episode 2 for it. Yeah, Crimson is 50% higher. It's it's so much stronger. Like, it's it's actually insane how much worse uh, it is. The accuracy, I think, is not as high. I don't remember that exact percentage. That's why I don't even talk about Red Coat when I talk about farming items. I don't even think it's worth slotting or anything because it's just so much easier to get crimson coat because being able to full clear like episode four repeatedly 
versus just clear temple episode two. It's not not the same level of difficulty for sure. Oh, I was forced to use a melee weapon there. Remote battery says only he got proper god who cast a show in 16 of my materials. Uh I thought that was changed already. What do you mean in the video? The video probably has it inaccurate, but I thought I updated that a long time ago. Somebody else already mentioned that a year ago. If it didn't save the change, I will go back and save it. Because I had to redo the table again the other day. I thought I already updated that. If it's, I mean, I'll just check after the stream. As I said before, I updated it like a year ago, I think, and then I updated it again the other day. So unless I accidentally put it there, I guess I can fix it later. Not a big deal either way. Get rid of you, get rid of Zoo. Yeah, I, I mean, the old version, I, I don't know. It just depends if you saved it, maybe. But it should have been updated, as I said before. I, I'm not going to dwell on it. I want to talk about it. Just check after the stream. Focus on the run. Just get some zoos out of the way. Uh, the zoo was over there. Ooh, game. Don't lag on me. There we go. Yeah, I think after I'm done with the stream, I'm going to see what I could do to fix the... Uh, Video issue. It only happens like every once in a while. Maybe every like 30 minutes or so. It lasts like a couple seconds. And get rid of these. The, if chat pops these, I guess I can get my freeze traps back again, which I haven't been using since they die so quickly. I know I'm gonna get like Zoo Dwarf on nonsense, I think, here. At least I'm going to take my healing circle with pride. I also built up mag blast, which is kind of funny to me. Oh, never mind. I thought it was one of those quests where they ambush us when we go through here. Most of them tend to do that, but that one was actually just a free uh, healing circle. Interesting. Kind of wish to be ambushed there, to be honest, but whatever. Trap in the middle of these. Delete that. Wait for the team. Yeah, probably when I go on break, I'll just fix it if it's there. I was gonna say, I was waiting for the team. Team got lost. There we go. Freeze trap, killing. There we go. Goodbye, Astar. So we're like two thirds of the way done. I think we got like one big stretch into the final room. Oh, what happens with the music? Don't tell me we're done. Oh, there's just like 30 seconds of silence. Cool. Anyway, let's skip that song. Oh, soundtrack people. Why don't you just clip the silence? Lots of Astar here. Where are those? I think the YouTube reply when I did to it mentions what material to use. I think it's defense. I'll double check. Move on though. Ooh, lots of traps in the middle here. So it looks like if you're not like dead center in the path, it just punishes you randomly. There's even like a trap in the middle too, which is horrible. Gross. Those.
beat him to death with Twin Blaze, just because. Take advantage of the range of the last swan. The <laughs> single Zabuda spawn to stop me. That's not gonna help. I'm gonna keep moving. So there's a central path with a laser barrier. I guess I'll go hit it. Since I don't think there's a point to go into the other side. Unless there's like a chest over there that I'm not seeing. So there's a little laser gate special here. I'm assuming that's blocked off. That looks blocked off. So we'll go this way. <laughs> so I heard you like boxes. So if Chad is wondering where I got my 13s and stuff like that, it's uh, pretty much just doing this quest with box runs. Goodbye, boxes. Okay. I guess there is more to the path I didn't see. Oh, maybe not. In which case, I guess it's the other side. I love that stretch graphic for the uh, rocks there. Nice one, Sega. Yeah, there's usually laser gates in the corners when in doubt. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be this. Oh, make sure to step on that switch or you'll be so sad. I remember doing the camera angle for this. It was terrible. Dynamic camera is like, I guess if you're showcasing it to friends, you'll do it. But man, is it like unplayable. <clears throat> so I'm going to confuse trap here, which makes the satellite lizards face away from us. So if I had guns, I could just gun them down at this point. Yeah, since everything is going to die instantly. I don't have to worry too much about my crowd control here. I think I'm going to last swan this one and freeze trap the others. So I saw that one was at like 15 health. Don't bother last hitting if the team's using fireballs. It'll happen eventually. Shift to level 13. Uh... Carry the Babuda. Put a freeze trap down. Let's look for the zoo. Nice level up. Buy the team some time. This might be the final wave. Of Astar, focus on the Dorfon. I'm surprised he hit me before he died. That's pretty close. Freeze him. Now there's just the zoo that's out of bounds. We're gonna, we're gonna rely on the forces here. I don't think, it, yeah, I can't shoot through that. And done. So it's, it's, it's okay, quest. It's not good for XP, but again, if you're looking for specific hunts, it's kind of the best you could do. So you have to make that kind of trade. So getting drop rate and rare rate, I think, is okay. But I, I would not run this without RBR, honestly. It, it's fine, it's just not too crazy. I don't think I need V501, given that there's not like a multi dwarf on spawn, I guess. Because otherwise, you should just be able to burst the dwarf on. So I think that's it for the RBR. At least from the showcase perspective. Look at our money total. So silly. So I guess we'll we'll briefly chat here. I do think PW3 or Phantasmal World 3 for episode 2 is fantastic for box runs for characters of almost any level. Uh, requires very few items, mostly just Megid and or Hellray Gun to clear. And Hellray Gun is a very easy trade item to get. Uh, the first one I think is good for Vices and Jaya. So you get a lot of chances at that. But I think otherwise, uh, there's not really too much else to say. War of Limits 1 is just basically the Astar quest. Otherwise, there's better quests for XP if you're looking for XP even during XP week. So with that, we're going to say goodbye to, this, to YouTube for this portion. So if you did watch to this point, thank you again for watching. And see you guys in the next part.